Okay, good morning to you all. Good morning. How are you? What's your name? Mariam. Can you give me another name? Mariam uh, is a girl's name. Is a lady's name. Okay? It is a noun. Right? It is a noun. So, again, can you give me another similar noun? Yeah. Dua. Good. So, Mariam, Dua, they are nouns. Lama is also a noun. Okay? So, what is this? A table. Uh, a table. Uh, so we call you dua, we call you lama, and we call this what? Table. table. This is again another no. noun. No. No. So a noun is a word given to people or things. This is a card, this is a pen, this is a book, and so on. Now, a name, as we said, okay? Is what a word given to a person, place. Uh, where do you live? In Gaza. Gaza is a noun. Okay, thank you. Now, when I say Salah al-Din was a wise king, Salah al-Din was a wise king. How many nouns are there in the sentence? How many nouns? Yeah, uh, Sahar. Two. Good. Uh, where are they? Yes, please. Yeah, king. king. Thank you very much. Now, Salah al-Din uh, is given to a particular person, yes. right? Like when I say Marwa, this is Marwa, this is Nada, this is Noor, this is Fatma, this is, and so on. Yes. This is given to a particular person. Salah al-Din is given what to a particular yes. person. Now, when I say you are a student, a student, you are all what? Students, uh, you are a student, a student, a student. So a student is common, okay? It is shared by more than one, by a lot of people. But when I say marwa, for example, dua, this is what? Particular. The same as when I say Salah al-Din and king. Is Salah al-Din the only king? No. There are so many kings, okay? So now I have two types of nouns. Salah al-Din is a noun, and king is another noun. The noun Salah al-Din refers to a particular king, okay? But the noun king can be applied to any other king as well as to Salah al-Din, right? You are a student. Your name is Maryam, okay? I can call any one of you student, but I cannot call any one of you Maryam. So, we call Maryam a proper noun. A proper noun. Dua is a proper noun. Lama is a proper noun. Salah al-Din is what? A proper noun. King is what? A common noun. A king is a common noun. A student is what? A common noun. A because it is shared by what? By a lot of people. By more than one. Muna is a proper noun. While girl is a common noun. Okay, now I have two types of nouns. Uh huh. Common noun. Yes, proper and common. Now Ali is a proper noun. While boy is a common noun. Ali and boy. Cairo, uh, this is a place. Uh, this is a place. Cairo is a proper noun. While town is what? A common noun. Good. Egypt. A proper noun. While country is what? Okay, thank you. Now, the word girl is a common noun because it is a name of a common, it is a name common to all girls. When I say this is a girl, this is a lady, this is a woman, this is a student, this is common. But when I say Maryam, Fatma, Dua, Khadija, okay, this is particular. It is given to a particular Person. Muna is a proper noun because it is the name of a particular girl. Can you give me some proper nouns for people, places, or things? Go on. Proper nouns. Give me examples. Saudi Arabia. Thank you very much. Good. So, Saudi Arabia is a proper noun. What is the common noun? Country. 
country. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Apple. 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 Good. Is a is what? Is a proper noun. Okay. What's the common noun? Okay. Thank you very much. Good. Now, a common noun. Could you read, please, Lema? Common here means shared by all. Okay, shared by all. What are you, a student, a student, a student, a student? Okay? Uh, this is a girl, this is a lady, this is a man. Uh, it is shared by a lot of people, all people. Now, a proper noun, Sahar. A proper noun is the name of some particular person or place. Proper means one who yeah, one's own. Uh, one's own. Uh, your own name is? Marwa. Marwa. Your own name is? Okay, go on. Hence, a proper noun is a person's own name. Okay. It is all your own name. Not. A proper nouns are always written with what? Capital letter. Capital letter. Okay. Selwa. Can I write it? Start it with a small? No. no. Whether you begin a sentence or in the middle of the sentence. Now, proper nouns are sometimes used as common nouns. A proper noun. Now, when I say, for example, Ahmed Shawqi. Ahmed Shawqi, this is what? A proper, a proper noun. When I say Shakespeare, a proper noun. Look at this sentence. Who can read the sentence? Yes, read. He's, uh, he's the Shakespeare. Uh, the Greek is uh, a uh, dramatist. Uh, dramatist? Of, uh, okay, thank you. He's the Shakespeare of his time. He's the Shakespeare of his time. Now, Shakespeare here, okay, in this sentence, does it refer to that great dramatist? No. No. It refers to, uh, it means what? Uh, it means the greatest dramatist in his time. Okay? So, in this sentence, I use the proper noun as what? As a common noun. A, as a common noun. Is that clear? Yes. Good. Now, common nouns include what are called collective nouns. Uh, now, we talk about common nouns. They include com uh, collective nouns and abstract nouns. They are divided into two groups, collective and abstract. A collective noun is a name of a number or collection of persons or things taken together and spoken as one whole. When I say crowd, crowd, family, team, okay, how many people? Can I call, can I call one person a family, one person a team, a crowd? No, it should be a group of people, okay, a group of people because it is made of a up of a group of people, we call it what? Collective. Army. When I say army, huh? army, a group of soldiers. Yeah. So again, these words re reflect or show what? Uh -huh. Collective yeah. nouns. Other examples, a fleet. What is a fleet? Collection. Yes. Collection. Yes, Noor. Fleet is a collection of ships or... Okay. Collection of ships. Thank you. Uh, an army. A collection. A collection of soldiers. Yes, please. A collection of people. Thank you very much. Yes, read this sentence, please. The. Yeah. Yes, read. The crowd. Uh -huh. The crowd. The French army. Okay. Huh. Now the French. Army. Now the crown. Army. Uh huh. Go on. The head of Catherine uh, is Yes, the head, the group of. Okay? Look, they are what? Uh, they are collective nouns. They are collective nouns. nouns. Okay. Now, abstract nouns. Uh, the other divided, so we said a proper noun is divided into a uh, collective noun and abstract noun. Is usually the name of a quality. A quality, okay? Action or state. Considered apart from the object which belongs to us. How? What does that mean? When I say 
equality. Look, huh? when I say darkness, darkness, kindness, hardness, brightness, okay? This expresses what? Quality. This is, okay, great darkness, uh, lightness. They express qualities. And again, when I say darkness, can you touch it? No. no. Huh. Can you carry it? No. no. Now, kindness. Can, can you see it by your naked eye? No. no. So these are uh, equality things, abstract nouns. Action. Uh -huh. Yes, read, please. Uh, laughter. laughter. What is laughter? Uh, what is laughter? Uh, That's uh, right. Uh, yeah, theft. Uh, movement. Uh, judgment. Hatred. When I say hatred, okay, uh, this is an action. I have, or they have a great hatred too. Uh, hatred. Again, this is an abstract noun. Cannot be seen. Cannot be touched, okay? Yeah. Cannot be carried. Okay, state. Yes, please read. Yeah. Child. Child. Childhood. Yeah. Huh? Boyhood. Yeah. Slavery. Okay, thank you. So these are three types of yeah. abstract yeah. nouns. Okay. Yeah. The names of arts and science also. Names of arts. Grammar, for example, music, chemistry are also what? Abstract, abstract nouns. Any question? Any question? Now, abstract nouns are formed. How can we form abstract nouns from adjectives as kindness okay from what kind. kind okay kind is an adjective kindness no. now no. and uh, then then from verbs uh, as obedience obedience this is a noun it is from what obey that's right uh, this is from a verb. Huh? Obey, this is another source. So it can be formed from an adjective or from what? A verb. A verb. Yeah. Uh, from common nouns also as childhood from child. Yeah. This is a child, this is a man, this is a boy. They are common nouns, okay? Yeah. I can form uh, abstract nouns from these words. Now let's have an exercise. Mm -hmm. Point out the nouns in the following sentences and say whether they are common, proper, collective, abstract. Number one. Number one. Yes, please. Nada. The crowd, the crowd was very big. Mm -hmm. It's a, co a, a collective noun. The crowd. Where is that? Where is the collective noun? Crowd. Okay. Now let's uh, give them names. For example, whether they are common. Common. This is number one, two. Three and four. Okay, so crowd is what? Collective nouns. Co okay, collective number three. Thank you. Yes, Marwa. Uh, uh, I'll say the truth. Truth is an abstract noun. Abstract noun. Thank you. This is number three, what? Four. Okay, good. Next one. Next one. What about the others? Uh huh. Yes, please. We all love Mhm. Mm Where is the noun? Where is it? Okay, thank you. This is the noun. This is number what? Four. Four. Again, good. Again, yes, please. Our class consists of 20 pupils. Uh, pupils uh, is a collective noun. Now, no, no, pupils, common. just common. a minute. Common. Pupils, call, uh, okay, common. Good, you are right. And what about, the, there is another class. noun. Class. Our class, yeah. class, this is what? Collective. Okay, collective. class. Collective. Uh, it is, yeah? Collective. collective, you are right. Number three, yeah. class, this is collective. Okay. Yes, please. Okay, elephant, this is what? No, Again, uh, elephant, this is? Uh -huh. Proper now. That's right, proper. And what is the common? Animal. Animal, okay. A great strength. strength. What Abstract. about strength? Abstract. Yes. Abstract. Abstract. Okay. 
Let's complete the exercise. Yeah, read please. Yes, Nada. Solomon was famous for his wisdom. Solomon is a proper noun. Okay, Solomon is a proper noun. Wisdom is an abstract noun. Abstract noun. Thank you very much. Good. Yes, please. Next one. Okay, abstract noun. Good. Thank you. Number eight. Number eight. Yes, please. We saw a fleet of ships in the harbor. Here, fleet is a collective noun. Yes, fleet. Okay, is a collective and. Uh, and and uh, harbor. harbor is a proper noun. Proper or oh, common? Common, place, yes. common. Thank common. you. Yes, Lama. Uh, the class is studying the grammar. Class uh, linear collective. Collective. So grammar abstract. abstract. Thank you very much. And finally, the last one. Yes, please. Ah, you answered now. Thank you. I want another student. Yes, Salwa. The nine of the class is banks to be the nine proper noun. Okay, proper, you are right. Bank? Common. common. Okay, common. And what about year? Year. Year. Common. Okay, common. Teacher, ships, common. Uh -huh. Yes. Where is it? In which sentence? Yeah, the fleet of ships. You are right. Now, regular and irregular plural nouns. Okay? One pen. Two pens. pens. One student. Two Students. One child. Two Children. Children. Okay? One man. Two men. So we have, as in verbs, in verbs, we have regular and irregular. And in nouns, we also have what? Regular, regular and irregular. Now, look, sunk. This is what? A noun, right? What's the plural? So, simply, for most nouns, we add what? Pen, pens, car, cars, okay? Day, days. Box. Okay. When do we, when do we add ES? When do we add ES? Yes, please. Thank you very much. So now we have two ways to make the regular plural. What are they? What are they? Yes, please. Thank you. Generally, for most nouns, we add S. When do we add ES? When do we add ES? Yeah? Thank you. Now, what about baby and babies? What is special about this word, this noun? What is special about this noun? Yeah? Why? Good, you are right. Just a minute, she can. Why did we change it into why? Why didn't we keep it? Uh -huh. We talked about that in verbs. It's the same rule as in verbs, verbs and nouns. Thank you. Yes, please. Very good. It is preceded by a consonant, okay? So if it is preceded by a consonant, okay? Yeah. We turn it, we change it. Now, look at these nouns. Man, men. Can we add S? No. Uh, read. One, one. I want one to read it. Yes, please. Man, men. Woman, woman. Again. Women. Okay. Woman, women. Okay. Yes, go on. A child, children. Thank you very much. Yes, read, please. Yeah, read. Box, oxen. Good. Food, feed. Good. Goose, Thank you very much. Yes, read, please. Two, dead, mouse, mice, and all Okay, thank you very much. They are what? Irregular. Uh, irregular plurals. Without S. We cannot add S to these nouns. Okay? Yes. Now, Look at these words. They end with what? Oh. Uh, with O. Oh. Okay. Echo? Echoes. What did we add? Yes. Okay. And yes. what did we add? Yes. Yes. Read the other words, please. 
Yes, the uh, potato, 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 tomato, tomato. What did we add? Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, Naveen, look at these words. Read. Uh -huh. What did we add? Yes. Uh, for the previous group of words, we added what? Yes. Es. And now we add what? Yes. E only s. Yes, go on. Kangaroo. Yes. Thank you very much. Go on, please complete. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. Now again, how did we form the plural for this group of words? We By added adding added. only s. By adding only s. Okay. Now look at the other group. Yes, please read. Stadios, yeah. Stadios. What did we add? Yes. Only S. Yes. After the, oh yeah. Okay, thank you. Huh. Now, we, we have two groups of words that end with O. Oh. For the first group, we added what? Yes. 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 And for the other group, we added I what? Only S. Yes. And each group ends with what? Oh. With O. Oh. Yes, please read. Some? Some nouns that end in, uh, in O added only A to, uh, to form the, uh, the blue. Yes. Not when, uh, when in adult. When in doubt, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, shall I add yes, S, E, S? Yes. OK, I'm not sure. What shall I do? Yeah, ask your friend. OK, you know your friend. You know your friend? The dictionary. Okay, it's a good friend. It is a good friend. Consult your dictionary. Okay, if you are in doubt, and when you check it, store it in your mind. Okay? Check, then store. Yes, uh, Niveen, could you please read? Minto, Mintos. Uh -huh. Look, how did we write it? It ends with what? Oh. oh. We can write it in two ways. In two ways. In two ways. Uh, you can add ES or. Thank you very much. Good. Yes, please read the other one. Mosquito. You know a mosquito? Yeah. Have you ever seen a mosquito? No. no. Lucky you are. Where are you living? <laughs> what is a mosquito? Yes, that's right. Okay. So read. Mosquito. Good. Thank you. How, how do we make the plural? By adding yes. Yes. ES or yes. S. Next one, please. Tornado. Tornado. Thank you. By adding what? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you. So again, yeah. Yes, read. Yes, please. Yeah. Plural? Okay, with ES, it is more usual, but it is also accepted with S only. Okay? Can you read this, uh, these words? Is the color clean from there? Is it a clear color? No. Uh huh, not clear. Okay. Now look at these words, these nouns. They end with what? Uh huh. F E F F E. Okay. What did we do? Yes, me. It changed F uh, into into V E F E S. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Look. Uh, halves. Knives. Okay. Leaves. Life. Lives. Okay. Loops. Yeah. Selves and so on. So we don't we don't keep the F in these words. Okay. We change it. Now, other words like that. Yes, thief, yeah? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, scarves can be written in two ways. You can, okay, change the F or you can keep it 
and add s, okay? And add s. Yeah. Read, please. Yes. Some nouns that end in f or f e are changed to v e s to form the plural. Thank you. Some, not all. Okay. Some, not all. Again. When in doubt, check your dictionary. How shall I? Shall I keep the f or shall I change it? Okay. What is the right spelling? Consult your dictionary. Yes, please. Look. Hello. Now, what? What can you notice? Uh, this ends with. How did we make the plural? Okay. It is treated as regular nouns. Just adding what is. Go on. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good. Yes. Read, please. Okay, thank you. To form the plural. So, can we apply a general rule for all regular or irregular nouns? No. no. Okay? We cannot apply. Okay? So, you have... No. Check the dictionary for the first time, then store it in your mind. Okay? And use it. Use it. Now, check it, write it, and use it. If you use it, Okay, it will go to the long-lasting memory in your mind, and it will stay forever. Now, look at these words. Yes, please, read. One beer, two deer. One, two, it is the same word. With what? Singular and plural. Thank you. Next one, please. One fish, two fish. It is also possible fishes, okay? When you have different types of fish, but not common, okay? But not common. Thank you. So we use uh, one, but we don't add. Uh, you can use the same word without adding s. Yes, thank you. Next. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, means and means. One, two. Uh, the same word can be used as singular and as plural. Thank you very much. Yes, please. Next one. One of spring, yeah, two of spring. Two of spring. Huh. No S. OK. Yeah. Next one, please. Yeah. Read one. One series. One series. Series, yeah. Two. One sheep, two sheep. OK, so again, the same word, the same word. Uh, one shrimp. Two OK. And one. Species or species, okay? The same word can be used in uh, for singular and for plural. You should know these words, okay? Some nouns have the same singular and the plural. The previous group, we say what? Uh, one and two, okay? Now, look at these words. Huh. Yes, who can read? Marwa. Criterion. 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 Uh -huh. Criteria. One, two. two yes. Okay. Thank you. Next one, please. Uh, bacteria. 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 Thank you. Next one. Curriculum. Curriculum. Okay. Thank you. Curriculum. Curriculum. Next one, please. Thank you. Next one. Thank you. The other one, memorandum. And? Yeah. Yes, please. Read this word. This is a, an important word. Nada? Phenomena. Okay. One, two. Okay. Group. Singular and plural. Yes, please. The other one. Uh huh. Thank you. Look, uh, just you change the I into E. e. Next one, please. Basis. Yeah. Basis. Basis. Uh, again, I into E. Yeah? Yes, please. Good. Now, next one. Hypothesis. Okay, look at all the group of words. Just you change the I into what? Into E. Okay. 
Now, some nouns that English has borrowed from other languages. Okay? They are borrowed from other languages. Their origin is not English. Okay? Have foreign plurals. So why did we make it this way? This is a foreign plural. It depends on the language where it came from. Okay? But you, we, you should learn them and you should know them. Exercise. Write the plural form of each word in the correct column. Some forms have two possible spellings. You have that exercise in your book, right? Okay. Finished? Yes. Okay. Now check your answers. Check your answers. Uh, who got a full mark? Sorry? They are there. Which one? Anyhow, yeah, refer to your book. You can check the other answers later. Now, exercise five, please do it at home. Okay? This is homework. Now, Exercise 6, page 104. Uh, now let's do this exercise together. Let's do the exercise together. Number 1. Thank you. Yeah, what do you think of this sentence? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, read. Read it. Yes, please. Bacteria are the smallest living thing. They are simple organisms that consist of one cell. Okay, what do you think? Bacteria are? No, uh, bacteria. Uh -huh. Yes, come please, correct it. Yeah. Bacteria, this is what? Singular. Okay, so it needs, we, we should change it. Bacteria. Okay, thank you. What other errors can you find in the sentence? Yes, Lama? Mm -hmm. Look, they are? Yes, Najwa. The smallest, okay. Living, okay. The smallest li living things. Okay, thank you. Can, can come and correct it. Uh, living thing. But look at this word. What do you yes, think of this word? Okay. Just a minute. Also, organism. Uh, organism. What do you think of this word? Uh, they are symbol. Uh huh. Do this word. Uh, organism. This should be what? Plural. It should be plural. No. Organisms. Thank you. Organ. No. Just add s. Add s. No. Don't clean by hand. Add s. This is enough. Thank you. Now, look at the other one. Number two. What do you think of number two? Yes, uh, Marwa. We'll change bacteria to bacteria. Exist almost everywhere. They are in the air, water, and soil, as well as in the body of uh, all living creatures. Okay, thank you. Come, please, and do it. Okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, they 
it is. Which they one? Are. Which one? Yes. I think we should uh, make it like uh, exists. Why bacteria? Is bacteria it singular is or a plural? No, bacterium is a pl uh, singular. Exists. No, yeah, bacteria. This is a plural. A plural yeah. noun needs a plural verb. Exist. I, I, I say bacteria is a singular. We should. Uh, you want to change the verb? Okay, you can. You can. But look, you want to change. You want to make more changes. They are. They refers to a plural noun. So keep it, and it's easier to change the noun. Okay? It's easier to change the noun. Uh -huh. Now, what about this word? Uh -huh. Yes, in the body of all. Body of all. Uh -huh. Bodies. Okay, bodies. Can you write bodies? Thank you. Yes. Did you see the sentence? Mm -hmm. Number three. Come. Come. Okay. Bacteria good. No, 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 it's okay. A human uh, beings. A human beings, okay? Okay. Thank you. Is that okay? Now, what about, yes, please. Uh huh. Some, where is it? Some, some. Cause. Cause, this is a plural verb. Now, what about the word thousand? Hundred, million. Uh huh. When I say two hundred, shall I add a S? No. No. 2,000, 3 million. Okay? So when you use numbers, don't add the S. But now, uh, now you can say thousands of to show that. Sorry? Okay, no. With numbers, no. You cannot say 2,000, for example. 2,000 without S. Okay? Use English. Your English is okay. Good. Okay, there are no. You you should add this. There are thousands. You should use the plural. Don't keep it like that without this. Okay. Don't keep it without this. Now number four. Who wants to do number four? Read it. Read it. Look at it. Okay, let's do it together. Now, yeah, you want? Come. Come, please. Uh, what did you do? Okay, viruses. Okay, thank you. Ah, we say viruses are small, microscopic. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, live in the cell of other. Okay. Yes, go on. They are lifeless particle that? What do you think of particle? Okay, cannot produce but, reproduce but. Inside, uh, what do you think? Does it need a cell? 
why not? Just a minute. Yeah, ah, you know, ah, this is singular. Okay, go on. They become active. Uh huh. Multiply. Hundred or hundreds? Okay, do it. Check your answers, please. Hundreds of times. Check your answers. Thank you. Ah, what are you asking about? Another sentence. Okay, you can check. You can check at home. Complete checking at home. Yeah. You have. I'm using the web page. It is there. You can. There you can see it. Yeah. Number five. Lama. Okay, come please. Uh huh. You want to come? Get ready for the next one. Get ready. Clean it. Yeah? Okay. Okay, good. Uh huh. What do you think of illness? Illness with such? Yes, illnesses. How do we write it? Okay, you add yes. Thank you. Good. Huh? Is that all? Yes. Okay, thank you. Now, check your answers. Yeah. Now, let's see. Look at number six. Yeah, who wants to come? Yes. Come, please. Just a minute. Look. Just wait, please. Wait. We have uh, what type of, be uh, of verb? Is it plural or singular? singular? So it is singular. It needs a singular noun. Is it singular? Yes. Virus is singular. Keep it. No, 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 no. This is okay. Viruses are. Uh, viruses are plural and the plural. Okay. Go on, please. Go on. Uh, what do you think? Shall I add s? Huh? Here, no, no, shall I shall I change it into R? No. 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 Okay. Yes. Yeah. Infection. What about is does it need no. S million? No. No. Yes or no? No. no. You are right. No. No. You are right. Preceded by a number. Yes. Very good. This is another error. Okay, thank you very much for today.